Hey there, tech fans. Rick here from the O-Ray team with an overview of the EX196 Pro HDMI extender kit. This product makes it very simple for you to extend any standard HDMI media source up to 196 feet away in your own home over a single CAT6 or CAT7 cable. The product features a local loopback function that allows you to continue to enjoy that content at your primary location that you're sending to the secondary location. Also included are a set of IR blaster modules that will transmit the remote control signals from the secondary location over the same network cable back to your primary location so you can actually control the content you're watching. Now as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you all the components that are included. I'll then take a closer look at those components and explain the buttons, knobs, and indicators so you understand how to use them. I'll give you a list of all the audio and video standards that the product can support. And then finally, I'll come back and actually install the product here to show you just how simple it'll be to use it once you get it home with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find a transmitter and a receiver module, two power supplies, one for each of the modules, a set of brackets where you can mount these on the wall. There are holes in the side, the brackets mount to the modules, and you can bolt those on the wall to get them up off the ground and out of the way. Also included are the two IR modules I mentioned before, one on the transmitter side, one on the receiver side, and these will transmit those remote control signals from that second location all the way back to the primary. We also include two sticky pads so you can adhere those IR blaster modules to your media components. Finally included is a full instruction manual that gives you diagrams for showing you how to connect this properly to your own equipment at home. There's information in there about the audio and video standards supported by the product, and there's some question and answer material in there as well in case you have questions about the product. Now, if you stay tuned, next I'll take a closer look at each of the components and explain what they do. Now we'll take a closer look at the O-Ray EX196 Pro HDMI extension kit. The product provides everything you'll need to be up and running in no time, including a transmitter module, receiver module, two power supplies, one for each of the modules, a set of mounting brackets for the receiver, and a second set of mounting brackets for the transmitter, including the screws you'll need to attach these to the side of the modules. Also included is a set of IR blasters and two sticky pads to attach these to your media devices, and finally a full instruction manual. Now we'll take a closer look at the modules, and I'll start with the transmitter. On the one end, you'll find an HDMI input port. This connects to the media device you want to share with your secondary location. Because the module can provide a local loopback function, there's also an HDMI output port that can be connected to a monitor at the primary location so you can enjoy the same content you're transmitting to your secondary location. The link light will indicate a valid network connection between the two modules, and it should be on under normal operating conditions. On the other end of the module, you'll find a power supply connection, this plugs into the wall. The other end of the power supply barrel connection plugs in here, and that's all the power you'll need. There's a reset button if you have to reset either of the modules. This is your network connection for your CAT6 cable. You'll plug one end in here, the other end in the receiver module. And then finally, there's an IR out connection, which matches up with the IR blaster that's labeled IR out. So there are two different types of IR blasters. Make sure you use the one that says IR out, and it plugs in right there. The receiver module has similar connections. You'll find an HDMI output port. This will connect to the monitor at the secondary location where you want to enjoy the content. Here's the power supply connection. Again, the power supply plugs into the wall. The barrel connection plugs in here, and you're set to go. This is the connection for the second IR blaster, and again, it's labeled IRN. You want to make sure you pick the right one to plug in there. On the other end of the module is a link light, same as on the transmitter. That link light should come on when the valid network connection has been established. And pretty much when you power both of these up and make the network connection, those link lights should come on. This is the other end of your CAT cable, plugs in right there. Then there's a length adjustment here because the unit can support up to 196 feet of length between the transmitter and receiver. And the length button allows you to adjust the transmitter power between the two to adjust if needed for the perfect signal. And that's pretty much it between the two modules. The O-Ray EX196 Pro Kit supports a wide range of modern media devices, including streaming devices like Roku, DVD players, cable boxes, game consoles, and home surveillance systems. The product also supports a wide range of media formats, including Full HD, 1080p, 60Hz content. The local loopback function allows you to enjoy the same content at the primary and secondary location simultaneously. The IR Blaster Kit will transmit the remote control signals from the secondary location back to your primary location, a full 196 feet over the same network cable. And finally, the product provides for uncompressed signal for transmission across that distance for zero latency between the primary and secondary locations. 
Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment at home. And for this demonstration, I have the transmitter module, the receiver module, I've plugged in both power supplies. On this side of the table, I'm simulating the primary location in your home. It's where you're enjoying your media content today that you want to transmit to a secondary location. On this side of the table, I'm simulating that second location in your home, and it could be an upstairs bedroom or downstairs in the den. It's wherever you want to watch that content. Now, we'll start by connecting up the transmitter module first, and then I'll move on to the receiver module. The first thing I'll do is apply power to the transmitter module. And the minute I do that, the product is going to start what's called a power on self test, where it's checking all the internal electronics to make sure everything is working fine. Now I'll connect up the media source. And in this case, I have a small media player that's connected to the monitor that's looping a video. So I'll disconnect the HDMI cable from the monitor and I'll connect that to the HDMI input port on the transmitter. Now, what's interesting about this product is it also provides a local loopback function that allows me to enjoy that same content at the primary location while I'm transmitting it to that second location in the home. So I need to connect up a second HDMI cable from the HDMI output port back to the monitor. So I'll do that now. I'll connect to the monitor first, and then I'll plug that into the HDMI output port on the transmitter. Now, once I do that, you'll see that the video comes back up over here. Now, another thing this is doing right now is actually analyzing the video source to see what resolution it's transmitting at so it can make whatever adjustments are needed for the local monitor as well as the remote monitor. Now we'll connect up the receiver. So again, I'll apply power first, and that'll start the power on self-test. There's only one connection here. It's an HDMI output connection that I'll connect up to your monitor at that second location. Now that'll take a second to go through power on self-test. It's also checking the resolution capabilities of the monitor. So again, it can make the perfect adjustments to give you the best picture possible. The only thing that's missing is the network connection between these two. You can use a standard CAT5 or CAT6 connection. And to simulate that, I'm gonna use a really short cable. You can use a much longer one than this, but I'll connect it up to the transmitter and then the receiver. Now what's gonna happen is both modules are going to negotiate the transmission of that video and audio between the modules and it should pop up on that secondary location and it really is just that simple we hope you found this overview of the o-ray ex196 pro hdmi extender kit helpful this product allows you to extend any hdmi media source up to 196 feet away in your home over a single cat 6 or cat 7 cable the product also provides for a local loopback function that allows you to enjoy the same content at the primary location as you're broadcasting to that secondary location. Also included is an IR blaster kit that will transmit remote control signals from your second location to give you complete control over your media. We really appreciate the support you've shown us for all the O-Ray products, and until next time, thanks for watching.